Hey, good morning, guys. Out checking the uh, trap line. I figured I'd stop and talk to you guys real quick about a couple things while I was here checking this trap. Uh, it's only the second one of, I believe it's six that I have out, that I've had out for a couple weeks anyways, or the last month, whatever it's been now. Uh, I just checked one off behind me here about 60 yards away. Uh, pretty much the same, same thing we got here. Uh, no firearm with me today. To be honest, I'm, I'm really not expecting to catch anything today. <clears throat> uh, hopefully I'll get a surprise, you know, we never know. But uh, just something to think about, something to kind of keep in mind. Um, you know, as you can see, we still got a good foot of snow on the ground anyway. And, uh, you know, I've been pretty much outright at work lately. I've been back to back with a couple classes. Uh, then I had a drill in between and then, you know, a couple more classes kind of back to back. But uh, on my one basic class, we got that first initial snow. And I had just put out, uh, I think it was four traps. And naturally they got buried. Um, <clears throat> so I waited... I checked them daily but I didn't unbury anything I still checked the traps just to make sure nothing got hung in it and was you know sitting there needlessly without me checking it but uh after the class was done you know I checked it daily like I'm saying I finally got up the nerve to come back dig everything out I actually set a couple more so like I said I think I have six now set you know freshly baited them all uh, added new scent to them as well and <laughs> that same night we got another dump of snow I think it was another four to five inches of snow I think I have one set I have some bait tied to a tree and I just covered it on top you know for the birds and some legalities that you have to follow here but uh <clears throat> that bait was frozen in any you know dirt hole set if that's what you want to call it not much dirt now but you know I got holes dug in with my traps bedded in in front of it with meat bait in the holes so everything that got covered up with snow for the most part was kept insulated so the next time which again was days later with the back-to-back -back classes you know I come out finally dug them all back out the meat bait was actually still soggy you know still stinky and, and pliable uh, the one on the tree obviously was froze up so I'm pretty sure that you know there's still scent on there but when when the meat baits get frozen and stuff like that it kind of dissipates the smell to it and the, the attractant nature of it so uh, I re-dug them out anyway for the second time uh, made sure everything was baited all that type of stuff and uh, got another dump of snow so uh, it's an ongoing battle here constant struggle fighting the weather you know things like that so uh, I was thinking, and I'm not sure everybody knows, so that's why I wanted to take a minute and talk with you guys about that. Uh, my buddy Andrew, I'm not sure if you're familiar with his channel, The Wild North. Uh, he's got some great videos. But uh, a big difference between there and here in uh, weather, he actually waits until it snows before he ever starts his trapping season. Uh, maybe a side of, you know, beaver, but uh, they get a different type of snow up there. And it's, it usually stays so cold up there that they get that powdery type snow, you know, and it pretty much stays that way. So they don't have to deal with the, the thawing and freezing and stuff like that, like we do here, you know, in the Northeast of the United States. So that's another thing I've been battling with, you know, as it gets warmer during the day, snow starts thawing out, then at night it drops down again, freezes back up, and now... You know, my trap beds are frozen in. The trap itself isn't frozen, but the bed around it is. So that's just another thing that you have to contend with, you know. It makes it that much more difficult to tend traps and maintain your traps. So what else I wanted to discuss was the meat bait in particular. Now this is the perfect time, you know, for meat baits. Usually at the beginning of the season when it's still warm out, um, you know, you might not have good luck with the meat baits because you know certain animals are eating other things and you can you got kind of got to pay attention to that I found quite a bit of coyote droppings you know this year 
that actually I still have some of them in bags you know to use as an attractant in sets but if you look through the scat there there's tons of berries and seeds and stuff in that scat so if you're out early season setting meat baits you know they may not be going for that <clears throat> one because maybe they just can't always get the meat baits but they know they don't have to overexert energy and calories to you know physically hunt food down when they just can just go over here and eat berries and uh, sustain themselves that way and I don't think for a second they don't do that stuff on purpose because they do uh, you know their lives depend on it they're like the perfect survivalist so uh, you know again this time of year the meat baits should be the best because there's nothing else you know there's no more berries there's no more nuts none of the stuff that they had an option of eating during the earliest part of the season when there was no snow around you know so uh, now it's just a matter of battling the weather and the snow <laughs> uh, I'm out checking the line obviously uh, some stuff frozen up so I'm gonna have to fix that but here again tonight they call it well into tomorrow actually starting tomorrow we're calling for another six to ten inches of snow so <laughs> ongoing battle guys so without rambling too much here I just figured I'd share a couple things with you guys while I'm out checking a few sets and uh that's it. I'm going to carry on.